Hello everybody. I just came up with an idea I want to share with you guys. There on here on YouTube you see these folks wanting to store up their ammo and stuff and they're making they'll buy a desiccant pack, the little bitty ones. And they kind of kind of want expensive size, especially if you have a bunch of ammo cans and so forth. And then some folks they'll make their own, they'll buy the big old bucket of desiccant, make up their little packs and, and still throw it in there. Well, didn't really want to spend the money on the desiccant stuff, looking on eBay, I mean looking on uh, YouTube. You see uh, some folks, uh, There's a, apparently there's a kitty litter out there. There's a desiccant kitty litter that you can make your own desiccant packs. Well, my thought is, what do they add to the kitty litter? Do they put anything to keep it from clumping and odor control, whatever? If there's any chemicals, whatever, is it going to react with the ammo? I said, well, no, I'm not going to go that route. So, then I got to thinking, you drop your phone, your camera in the water, what folks tell you? Throw it in a bag of rice. So, you know what? And you also put rice in your salt shaker to absorb the moisture uh, and, and keep it flowing freely. So, that's what you're looking at. Here I made up a couple bags of um, desiccant. All it is is a coffee filter. Put in some white rice. Use the old stapler and staple it shut. But to test my theory, we're going to give it a little shot here. Inside this Tupperware, I got a little little lid. And right over here, I got a teaspoon of water. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. Okay. So now let's put in this fresh made bag of desiccant without getting it in the water. And we're going to seal this sucker up. And I got a feeling this is going to work really good because like I said, you hear folks, put the camera in the water, if you, uh, put the, in a bag of rice, if you dropped it in the water, and hey, it worked. And so but we're going to find out. Today is Saturday. We're going to find out, um, I'll come back and we'll count the number of days it takes for all that water to actually evaporate and then get absorbed in there. And you know, we're not pulling that much, a little puddle of water if you're going to throw it in an ammo can or what have you. I mean, you can probably do a bigger, bigger one of these in a gun safe too. Just a huge pile of it. But we'll, we'll track the number of days it takes for all that water in this Tupperware container to, one, evaporate and to then get absorbed into the little rice bag. Okay, again, like I said, this is uh, Saturday, uh, August 6th, and we'll see how many days it takes here. Uh, it takes, again, it takes for all this to absorb in. Be right back. Hello, folks. I'm back. Today is August the 20th. I kind of hate to admit it, but I forgot all about this little experiment. I placed this puppy on top of the cabinet, cabinets, uh, got back from vacation, and I just remembered it. So, here we go. I'm going to pull this lid off of it. And it is bone dry. That whole tablespoon of water I put in here is no longer there. It all evaporated and has been absorbed into this homemade bag of desiccant. Which, believe it or not, is feeling really, really damp. Very damp. And it looks like that might be a bit of mold growing on there because it was so damp. Remember, I did put a whole tablespoon of water in here. And the idea is to just uh, absorb any kind of moisture that was in the air on these desic desiccant packs. So, doubt if you would ever have that much water in a container that you'll be using. Um, sealing up that you want to keep dry so you, you can feel well you, I can feel this is pretty damp and again it looks like mold but that tells you right there that this works quite well so any kind of ammo storage cans I got I'm going to be making these up and I'm going to put them in there and they will easily absorb any moisture that's out of the air inside that can next I'm also trying to get a bigger bottle I won't make a video of this the bigger some type of container 
maybe it was air holes or something on the, on the side and I want to put a large amount of it inside the gun safe I did buy a purchase uh, purchase two of these uh, those desiccant cans off of Midway USA and not really too happy with them it doesn't really seem to last all that well so I'm gonna put a huge container of rice inside there to see how that well how well that works and if it doesn't lower the humidity in the safe okay well I hope this is informative uh, take care God bless